What is up, beautiful people? TJ here with another episode. Today, I want to do a little bit of a different video. This is going to be kind of a tutorial uh, type of video. I actually was supposed to make this uh, a couple weeks ago, but I I just got busy. I, I didn't make it. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so what I want to talk today about is I've gone to the bin store so many weeks in a row, and I always pick up items that need to be tested. And I'm not talking about items that, you know, you plug in and you see if it works. These are actual items that would have to be installed in, in your house or something like that, like a, a ring doorbell um, or like a thermostat or something like that. So I'm going to show you how I made a little test rig for electrical components coming up. All right, so let's go get over here to the test station itself. All right, this is the test station. It's got like just a cord, a, um, just a regular, like a sinking cord. It's got a switch here you can turn it on and off. Um, and a little terminal block and a little transformer um, to step it down from 120 volts. That's normally what's in your house is 120 volts. It takes it down to 24 volts and let's see, 24 volts and eight volts and 12 volts and 24 volts. Hold on, eight, 16 and 24 volts is the actual output um, on this thing. Input is 220 volts. Output is eight volts, 16 volts, and 24 volts. So something like this, which is a, um, what's this? This is a thermostat. This little thing right here, a floor heating thermostat. This right here goes for about $170, apparently. But when you turn it on, the touch screen doesn't work. It does turn on, but the touch screen, screen doesn't work. This is why um, you know, we, we test items out. So I'm going to show you, uh, exactly how I built this thing and then we'll go back in the studio and, uh, debrief. Okay. So this is the stuff that you need. It's just the regular extension cord, a terminal block, um, a switch, a little box and a cover and a, a couple of spare extra wires. Um, so I'll put a link to everything down in the description section below if you want to um, see exactly what I got. Uh, I'll, I'll link it to the Home Depot website. All right, so first you wanna go and you wanna cut the end off of your extension cord. And the way that I got this to split was to take my knife and just kind of slit it on the end and then I just kind of pulled it um, apart. Now I will say I am a licensed electrician. I think you all kind of know that. Um, so definitely don't try this unless you are comfortable around electricity because electricity is dangerous, it could kill you. Um, anyway, so I took the wires, I couldn't find my wire stripper, so I just stripped out the wires with um, some needle nose. Uh, don't do that, that's, that's not the right way to do it. <laughs> Use wire strippers uh, to do that. Um, but I cut them to length and I stripped out the ends of the wires. If you are using, uh, depending on your type of switch, if you have one that wraps around where you have to wrap your wire around, you wanna make sure that your copper is pretty long so you can wrap it all the way around the screw and you wanna wrap it around uh, the same direction as the way that you're gonna screw it in. So, you know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. That's what we always uh, <laughs> say in the electrician field. Uh, so you wanna take your couple spare wires. Now I just had some spare wires laying around my basement. Um, what you could do is cut um, some of your wire out of your extension cord and use it for this, but this is gonna be the wire that's gonna to go to your terminal block. Now the way this switch, I should have got a, uh, a single pole switch. I actually got a, a double switch. I should have got a single, but on a uh, double switch like this, you have a black screw and then two gold screws. What you wanna do is you just hook your black wire up to the black screw and then your other black wire up to the gold screw. That's gonna be your switching function. Um, your white is gonna be your neutral and you're just gonna connect that to your other white and your green is gonna be your ground that's gonna connect to the bare wire um, so I'm taking this uh, I'm gonna go ahead and screw the box in because I just don't need to flopping around <laughs> um, 
the extra wire that you need which is the two extra wires that you kind of see just kind of dangling out there um, that's going to be going from your switch to your terminal block so you will need a white a black and preferably a green so in this case I didn't have another green wire so what I did was I took a black wire and I just stripped it where it was bare so this is going to be your ground um, and and you want to make sure that you realize which one is which because if you hook the ground up to your hot wire which is going to be your black wire um it's going to trip your breaker immediately so um just make sure you be careful of that so i'm gonna go ahead and strip out the other side of the wire um i got my terminal block and i put that on uh on the board here now as you can see i set the board up on some blocks um, and that is because the screws that I use go just below the uh, the board and I didn't want it to get into my, my, my table there so um, I did use uh, fork lugs so those are the, the lugs that look like a fork and uh, they go uh, just over the screw so you don't have to take the screw all the way out to put it in there you can use a ring lug if you want to um, but just for the purposes of this video and this little test thing I'm doing I use uh, the fork lugs all right so I'm a perfectionist when it comes to wires and so I always got to make sure my wires are secure so I got these little uh, cable wrap holder things um and and i call them sticky backs you put them on there you kind of route your cables around so that's a transformer that's the transformer that y'all saw me get at the store and it goes from 120 volts down to uh 20 24 volts uh, i think 16 or 18 volts and seven or nine volts something like that um you'll see it later on in the video exactly what the voltage what voltage it goes to um but I went ahead and secured that. So the good thing about this transformer is it's pretty straightforward. You hook your black wire up to your black, you hook your white wire up to your white, and you hook your green wire up to your green or your bare wire. So this is the finished product. It's not that, it's really not that complex. Um, but you can use this test station uh test station for 120 volts um as well as 18 volts 24 volts and you know your lower voltage so this is the the back of the transformer here you can see if you do the two outside screws it's going to be 24 volts if you do the uh the middle to the right that's going to be 17 volts and the middle to the left is going to be your low voltage so your uh, seven to nine volts now i will say that everybody's house has a different voltage uh, my house has a little bit higher voltage so the output on mine is going to be a little bit higher than what that is so that's why devices have a range of voltage so you can see i have 27 volts um, as my output um, and then i have 17 volts almost 18 volts and then i have um nine volts nine and a half volts um so you can see right now the transformer is working pretty good and i'm going to test out this switch so works this does not all right so i hope you got some kind of uh value out of that i know it's a little bit different than uh what i normally do i'm like a tutorial kind of guy i like showing people how to do things and i'm kind of crafty uh so i hope this maybe helps somebody that is crafty as well uh and maybe want to build a test station like this uh, to test your products if you like these types of videos please like share and subscribe really appreciate it also hit that bell icon so you get notifications whenever we release new videos and we will see you guys on the next one peace